Hello Hunters, Skysetsa here welcome you to the Sizzling Spice Festival. Really glad to see a new event after the dry period that we had during COVID, which of course we all understood, but this event really brightens your day. Besides making the Gathering Hub look amazing, also all hail to that Puke Puke Lord, which we'll see in just a moment, I'm gonna quickly go over some of the stuff that you can get during this event, all the fantastic layered armor, and an armor set that's actually pretty helpful for those of you who are new to the game. Alright, so a quick TLDR right here on the right side. If you're looking for just the quests that you're interested in, here they are. I'll talk about them more in detail in the video, but if you just want a list, here it is. And of course, as usual, if you want the layered armor for the festival armor, you will need the VIP tickets that you get. So, here's the new armor that comes with the festival. I'm honestly quite a fan of it. It's kind of cool. If anything, the male one actually looks super badass, but I don't have a male character that, so rip to me. If you want to get the layered armor, you just need 5 VIP Sizzling Spice tickets. That's all you're going to need. And if you'd like to grind for this right away, just build the armor using the Sizzling tickets, which you can get 1 from the daily bonus and then 4 more from the daily bounties. That'll get you enough for the whole armor set, which then increases your chances of getting VIP tickets from pretty much any hunt. Now, I do want to just quickly mention the armor itself. It's actually a very great gathering set. So it's pretty much ready for you to go into Guiding Lens and just farm your materials right away. So for your new players, I would recommend if you haven't built a set for gathering the guiding lunch, just take this armor, go in, you've got all the perks you need, you'll get as much materials as you can, it'll make augmenting your weapons so much easier. These sizzling tickets can also get you this fantastic palico set. I am actually so in love with it, it's so cute. He walks around like a waddling thing, it's so cute. But yeah, just keep that in mind that if you want to get this on day one, you'll have to wait for the daily resets then to get your armor. So pick and choose, whichever one you think is better. So that's pretty much it for the standard regular armor, but there's so many of the layered armors, guys, that are fantastic. I love them all, minus one. But let's start with my favorite one right here, the monkey on your head. Oh my god. He's too cute. I could die, honestly. So you can get him by doing the monkey business event quest, basically a furious Rajong. You'll probably need like two hunts of him, so I'll just get a group together and bang it out. Two more layered armors that we can kind of go together if you really wanted to. I kind of call it the bunny girl outfit. Question marks. Question marks. Basically the inner wear alpha and beta armor sets which will come from a new event to kill Shara. The quest is literally called the naked truth so it's not hard to, to miss. You can tie that together with the bunny ears that come from the don't forget the earplugs quest. Which is actually a mini crown for Yi and Garuga. So for those of you crown hunting and haven't got Yi and Garuga, here's your mini crown. Speaking of crowns, Tigrex actually now has a large and I mean huge gold crown in the Seeing is Believing quest. And you'll you'll literally just need to see it for yourselves, quite honestly. But I think you'll need a drink after the hunt, for sure. This guy is massive. Good thing is, is that Capcom's actually opening up a tab, specifically for you dual blade users. This is an absolutely hilarious weapon layer. The last two are just fox helmets. This one's the Kelby armor and you get that from the Fetching Light Pearls. It's basically the white question marks that you see in the Coral Lens when you go to this quest. The last one is an Aptnoth Fox Helmet, which is actually pretty cool. It's kind of neat. Poor Aptnoths. You can get it by just killing a simple Raytheon in the Camouflade quest. And that's pretty much it for the Sizzling event, ladies and gentlemen. It's not too much of a grind. The outfit, in my opinion, looks great, but it's definitely a nice break from the crazy Electron we've been doing. As usual with most events, the event quests are almost all back, so be sure to check those out if you haven't got everything in the game. And that's about it. Till next time, hunters, stay safe and keep hunting. Ska Sensei is out.